Hello, I'm going to look at simplifying fractions um, from the Ninja Skill Focus Key Skills work this week. Um, the second one on the sheet, I'll start with that one because it's a little bit more straightforward. And the fraction is two quarters. And it's asking you to simplify it to make the number smaller. So if you look over here, I've got a circle. This shows my whole and the new... The denumerator is four, so I've cut my circle into four equal pieces or four pieces of pizza. And I'm going to shade in two pieces. Now you can see that when I shade in two, you can see really clearly half of my shape has been shaded in. So I can write in half. Now, it's not always possible to keep shading in fractions on pieces of paper, so we need to use some other skills. I've already shown you how to use the multiplication grid, so you can use that. You can also use your knowledge of your tables. So if you divide 2 by 2, it gets you to 1. 4 divided by 2, and you have 2. So if we divide both of them by the same number, we find our answer. The next question I'm going to look at is 36 divided by 63. Now, the bigger numbers on here, I'm, I know the odd number, well, there's an odd number here, 63, so I can't half both of them. Um, I'm thinking they might be in my three times table because they both end in multiples of three. Three, I know anything that ends in a three or a six is going to be in my three times table. So I'm going to divide them both by three to start off to make it a little bit easier for myself. So I'm just going to divide by three at the top to remind myself what I'm doing. So, so 36 divided by three is 12 because 12 times three is 36. I can use the inverse operation to check. And I know that I can divide three into three and it's one. Six divided by, six tens divided by three is going to be two tens. So I've now got 12 over 21. And I know I can see straight away that I can divide those numbers again. I know that I can divide 12 by three because there's three fours in 12. Three times four is 12 and I know that three times seven is 21 so I can put it here. So I've simplified my fraction. These are all equivalent fractions and this is the smallest one that I can make on the end here. I'm going to move on to the next question, question three, and it now asks me to simplify 28 divided by 42. 28 divided by 42. So I can have a think about which fractions, I'm, which tables I might find them in. If I'm not sure, I could have a little think about it. I could go back to my times table grid. And if I use my times table grid up here, I'm looking for somewhere where I'm going to find 28. There's a 28 there. And I'm also looking for a times table that's got 42 in it. And if you look down below, you can see that it has got 28 and it's got 42 in the same column. So I know that I can divide by seven. This is the number at the top. I can divide my fractions by seven. So 28 divided by seven is four, because that is the number that's on the end there here. So I've got 28 divided by seven is four. And then I've also, if I go down to 42, I know that 42 divided by seven, and I go all the way across, I'm going to go to six. So it comes down to four sixths. I divided 28 
by 7 and I've divided 42 by 7 to make 6. And then I'm looking at this and I know that I can make it smaller. I can reduce both of them by halving them. Half of 4 is 2 and half of 6 is 3. And that is how I'm simplifi simplifying these fractions to find the answers on the Numeracy Ninja skill focus sheet.